5% heat, which is essentially smoke, um, and yeah, well, which, which we would say is about the, it's like the salt and, salt and pepper seasoning in food, it's like the bitters in a Manhattan, so it just gives it that depth of flavour. Tom Neville, 
Um, originally we wanted to call Tomleville in Tomleville in, but it's a, a holy town and the priest wouldn't let us, uh, let, uh, let's call it Alcon Brand after his, his holy town, so we just changed one letter and got away with it, I think. Um, so yeah, it opened in 1996, uh, closed in 1995 because in Scotland there was too much uh, whiskey being produced, the movement went too big, the, the demand for the liquids died down, so a huge number of whiskey distilleries closed in the 90s. Um, and then during this period from 95 to 2007, Weiss and Mackay, we, we purchased the company and started making whiskey again. Um, originally, we started making the whiskey for, uh, to sell it to blending houses, um, just, just as a sort of another source of income. However, a couple of years ago, we started tasting the whiskey and thought, wow, like, this whiskey is incredible. We've got, we've got a brand in itself here. So in 2018, Tango Village was launched as a, as a new brand. Uh, so we're located yeah, on the sort of south side of the space side near the Glengoy Mountains. So the spirit, we use double distillation. So it comes from the, the pot still you see on the closest side is a washback, which is the first distillation. It then goes um, into the second, into the three still you can see at the far side, which is the, um, the, uh, the spirit still, which is where we do the second distillation. In terms of maturation, we, we would always call it the double pass maturation. So, throughout the full Tamla Berlin range, it always starts off in ex bourbon American white oak. It then moves into a range of sherries or wines or, um, or yeah, other, uh, other finishing passes. So, with Tamla Berlin, we've always got, we've got double, uh, double distillation, double maturation. So, across the, the full range, here, which will be arriving in Cyprus hopefully at the end of, uh, end of the year. So we've got the, the double pass, the sherry pass, and then we've got these the three uh, red wine pass finishes, which are all absolutely fantastic. We've got the French Cabernet Sauvignon, Spanish Grenache, German Pinot Noir, there's an Italian Sangiovese, there is also a uh, US Cabernet Sauvignon. We've also, in the UK, launched a white wine pass finish uh, a couple of months ago. Again, I think it's one of the first white wine cast finishes I've ever tried with a whiskey, but it's absolutely phenomenal. You get the light citrusy notes, which again doesn't always come through with, uh, with whiskies. So, on to tasting the double cast. So, the double cast is um, again matured in uh, ex bourbon, it then moves into a sherry cast for a short period of time. It's a Oloroso sherry cast. Um, again, you get it's quite warm, it's quite sweet, it's very easy drinking. For me, it's one of my favourite whiskies of the full portfolio. You get a little bit of sweetness, you get a bit of that orchard fruit that comes from the side, so you get a bit of uh, like some sort of apple, some pear, flavours like this. Um, but you 
still get the you still get the classic Tampa Villain um, flavour profile of the orchard fruit um, coming through in the, in the background. Which one do you guys prefer, uh, the double pass or the cherry pass? Cherry pass. Cherry pass. Double pass.